Hi everyone, welcome back to another cut above with Chris. It's been two days since my last shave. I'm really glad I've got rid of the goatee. It was driving me nuts. I feel much better now. I enjoyed my shave quite a bit. And I'm going to go back to a razor which left me a little bit irritated last time I used it. I've got a new blade in it, so hopefully we get some sort of hopefully different or better results. And that is the Razor Rock Hawk. This was kindly piffed to me from, uh, from Ken Lee. And he sent me over three blades with it. The first one I used was the Feather Pro, I think. The one that is in here is the Kai Captain Mild or Captain Kai Mild. I think it's the pink. I think that's what it's called. So hoping for a slightly smoother, less irritated shave. We'll just see how we go. I think we got on the best with it the first time. It was my first time with a single edge razor. And I didn't use it again since then. So let's just see how we go on with it. I'm going to pair this up with a soap, which gets rave reviews for the actual soap itself, but also the scent. I'm not sure how it's pronounced. It's either Trimagistus or Trismagistus or something like that by LNL Grooming. And this is the Bison Tallow, I believe. It sure is Bison Tallow, Lanolin and Botanicals. So yeah, now the scent on this, I can't remember what Ken told me. It's got a beautiful, cologne sweet, sort of, it's a bit of citrus in there. I couldn't really tell you. Now, I don't, do not tell me why this sticks in my mind, but La Terme Detre or something like that, just is in my head and I've got no idea what that is. I don't even know if that is a cologne or an aftershave or I just made it up. I've got no freaking idea. But that's in my head for some reason to go with the soap whenever I pick the soap up. And it smells superb. I'm going to be using my wolf whiskers again. I really enjoyed using it last time. It's truly my favourite brush in the den, there's just no doubt about it. Even though I've got my custom brush from Tony Forsyth from my shaving channel on there. This brush, I don't know what it is about it, the feel of it. I am a wolf man, I love wolves. That's my spiritual animal. And I've just got a thing of wolf whiskers. I want to get my wolf man, I've got my wolf pack soaps. All things like that, love it, absolutely love it. Right, so I've just wet that, flicked out the excess. It's a reasonably soft soap, it's not hard It's and it's not super soft, but I would say it's just slightly firmer than a crop. So I'm just going to go straight onto the top of the soap itself, the damp brush. Got a good load, and then I'm just going to face lather because it's the only way to do it when you're using the, the black wolf knot. Added a little touch of water there, just a just a very short dip. That's made all the difference. Oh yeah, it smells beautiful. Now it's not a not a strong scented soap. It's probably a four, maybe a four and a half out of ten at the top. But it's a lovely scent, really a really nice scent. And I've heard this stuff is absolutely lovely to work with. Right, I've got plenty of load in there on the brush. Set the soap to the side, wet the face, got cold water in here, I've had a real hard day at work today, four big gutter cleaning jobs, my back's been killing me, I've just had this delivered today, I had one of these for years, never took it off, never had a problem, it snapped about five months ago and I purchased a, a metal one on a plane on the way back from Bali with magnets in it, it's a magnetic bracelet from Bioflow. I purchased a magnetic bracelet on the plane, never thought of it, and then I lost that when I was cleaning gutters. Now the last sort of month and a half or so, my back has been getting worse and worse, just a pinpoint ache, feels like a nerve. I put this on today, I've had it on for about three hours, three or four hours, and I can tell there's a marked difference in the pain already. So as much as people think magnetic therapy is a lot of shit, it could just be in the head. I don't really care whether it is or not, I feel better and the pain's going away and that's the main thing. There's my piece of useless information, wasting time. I haven't got no ladder yet, and it's four minutes in. So here we go. LNL grooming, trimagistus, trismagistus. This was also kindly paid for by Kenley. Oh, it smells superb. Just going to dip the tips.
that lather is super, super slick. I can just feel it as I'm putting it on my face. I do, I, I've got to say, I really enjoy vegan soaps, but I think I pr just slightly prefer the performance of tallow. I'll tell you another thing as well, this tastes exactly like it smells, it doesn't taste terrible. I'm just going to turn this main light off here just so you can have a look at the gloss on there. You can just get a better idea what the lather's like itself. It's a good thick, creamy lather. I'll pop this back on because it's a lot brighter, but it's not great for, for actually showing off the, the gloss on the soap. So here we go, Razor Rock Hawk, brand new blade. Let's just see how it feels. I've got the, the Hawk handle on today. Previously, I put quite a heavy handle on. Which could have been, it might have made the shave worse having that really heavy handle on. If I'm perfectly honest, I'm not a, not really a fan of this razor. It's I mean maybe I'm just getting the angle wrong, but it's just not a comfortable razor to use. I mean that's literally plucking hairs out of my neck right now. It's not not shaving them all. It's just plucking away. I'm going to stop using that guys, I'll be back in a second, so you know, just rather than messing about. Okay, and we're back. So what I've done, I'm not going to use something that I don't enjoy using. It's not my thing, it's just that I don't go on with it all. And there's no way I'm going through another few days of having irritated skin, because I just can't be arsed with it. So Ken, thank you very much for sending it, but I most likely will pay this one forward. I might even uh, send it on as part of my... 750 subs giveaway if you're happy for me to do that mate you don't have a problem with that right so let's move on to the Merca 34c and i've just dropped a brand spanking new pulse silver in there I was just about to say it feels like a whole different razor. Well, freaking is a whole different razor. Right. First passed out, eventually went quite smoothly. Um, residual slickness based on one pass isn't good, it's not great, it's alright. In fact, it's not alright, what the hell am I saying? It's not too bad on that side. But it's definitely sticking on that side. So. I don't know, let's see how we go. It's making a pretty good lather. Personally, just from my own experience, it's not as nice as Sterling or K Shave Works or Wickham. But it's nice. Like, like I keep saying that these so 
I've got a stage now where all the soaps I use, they are, they're all pretty good. There's not really a shit soap out there that's made by an artisan that I've used that, that I would actually turn around and say it's not up to scratch with anything else really. The only ones I sort of struggle with is like Razor Rock, I get an allergic reaction with Razor Rock, a lot of the soaps anyway. I never know whether I've got a freak Mooka 34C because I don't find this a mild razor, I find it sort of medium. I mean, I really feel the blade on it. going very well, the shave's lovely and smooth. These Paul Silver blades are very nice. I don't think it's as good as the Perma Sharp, but that's just me. Still a very smooth, sharp blade. The way I'm going at the moment, I might be offloading that pack of boss cards behind me rather than using them. Yeah, residual slickness, once again, this is the second soap and roll that I've used, it's not, it's not brilliant. I don't know whether you guys can see that. But you can probably hear it, it's just juddering, sticking to my face as I'm going along, there's no real residual slickness. The lather appears fine, it doesn't say that the, the, like the does it appear like the lather's not right? The lather shaving great. Yeah, it's just not. It's not got great residual slipness. Great scent. Lather's pretty easy. But yeah, it's giving me a great shave. It's not that I don't really need residual slickness. I just do it because there's guys out there I know that sort of like to go over the same areas all the time trying to get BBS. I don't. I don't go for BBS at all. Yeah, it's not. It's not got the best residual slickness. And for the amount of load that I put on there as well, it doesn't seem to... Doesn't... Give a voluminous... Voluminous? Lather all the way through. You don't need it for this pass, you don't need it for your second or third pass really, you only need the thick lather for the first pass, mainly. But with sterling, I can get a thick, a good creamy lather all the way right through my shave.
So it's Thursday here. Well, me and the wife are going to do a bit of late night shopping, but because I worked so late, my back's been killing me today. I just decided to come home. I went down and picked up a beautiful Thai green curry and a Thai red curry. Green for me, red for the wife. Definitely, I tell you, it's one of the best tasting soaps I've had. Well, there we go. Well, I've got to say, Porsche feel is really nice. Just from what I've got, there's a lot of moisture on my skin. The scent's still there, that sort of nice aroma from it. It's not a strong scent. I mean, when it's lathered, it's probably a sort of five, five and a half. But lovely Porsche you feel I'm very very smooth I'm not even by my standards that smooth so I don't know I think the Paul Silver is also helping as well because it is a sharp blade very smooth blade to use I don't think I've got any cuts nicks or bumps or anything like that which is good no irritation that I know of so let's move on to Thea's lavender witch hazel I sort of went for this soap tonight because it's been pretty cold this evening I just thought something that smells a little bit warmer than normal most of my soaps are mentholated <laughs> or citrus. Right, so what we used was a Merca 34C. We actually started off with the Razor Rock Hawk, as you guys know if you watched the full video. I finished off with the Merca 34C. Just a great little razor. Great blade. The Hawk just doesn't do it for me. I've tried two blades now and it's just not my thing. So I think it just sort of reiterates the fact that I enjoy DE razors. I might still get a one blade at some point, but at the moment DE razors I think are the way forward for me. They just seem to work better and I enjoy using them more. The brush was the wolf whiskers. I'm just going to keep this lathering because I'm going to do my head shave next. Oh, no, I don't know, I'm just going to use a different brush. I don't like doing that one in my head shave. The soap was L&L Grooming. Trimagistus, Trismagistus. And for some reason, like I say, a term of detre is in my head. I don't know what's yeah, I don't know what the frick that's from. In fact, this is scent. Ken's probably told me and it's just stuck in my head for some reason, I don't know. There's lavender witch hazel. Lovely, lovely stuff. And then I'm just gonna finish it off with some holy call dark vetiver toner. This was sent to me by Sri when I um, he sent me out another soap. And I, and I ordered a balm from him because the soap that I had was almost scentless and he sent out a new soap for free even though I didn't actually buy it direct from my body from my guard but the scent of the soap that he sent me was far superior and he sent this with it because apparently it goes quite nice with the Laugh Sublime and the damp vet but it smells lovely so I'm just going to pour a little bit in my hand oh yeah it does smell really nice it's almost got a, it's got a nice cologne sort of scent, but it's very, very, it's quite sweet. Dark vetiver, and I, you know something, I'm not a big fan of beta for, if I'm honest. I like my Malizia Uomo vetiver aftershave, but the soaps and stuff that I've smelled, I'm not a big fan of. But anyway, that is me done and dusty, thanks very much for tuning in. This video is pretty long again, I think. I, I don't really know. I just sort of talk shit as I go along. Enjoyed that shave. I really enjoyed that shave. No irritation at all. Feels great. It's lovely smooth. Post shave feels going to be superb. I know it will be. And I'm going to move on to my next shave straight after this one, which will be my head shave. So you guys take care. Stay safe. Drive safe. Don't drink and drive. And I'll catch you guys next time. Cheers.